After a two-year wait, the Cleveland Auto Show is underway at the IX Center. The 10-day event was one of the last big events in Cleveland before the pandemic hit in March of 2020. News 5's John Kosick joins us live at the IX Center, where the doors just opened at 5. And, John, the excitement is certainly high. It really is, and for a number of reasons, not the least of which is that two-year wait, the COVID fatigue that we are all going through, and for the fact that this place is as it has always been, an escape from what's going on outside, an escape from winter, a reminder the spring is around the corner. The mood around any auto show has always been electric, but even more so this year. Literally, the 2022 lineup features more electric vehicles than ever before, with just about every automaker here offering this year what they call plug-in hybrid models. Like having an EV Monday through Friday and a, a super efficient gas vehicle on the weekend. So it can be an entirely electric vehicle that you could use with gas for long trips if charging stations are an issue. Cheap for one committed to offering by 2025 every one of their vehicles with a plug in hybrid option. The infrastructure is not there yet around the country. Um, there are not as many charging stations, you know, maybe in places like Cleveland there might be, but in other places of the country there's not. The folks at Nissan point out that all electric vehicles like their new Aria are cheaper to operate. Not only no gas, no oil changes, way fewer moving parts. There's almost no maintenance on electric car and the per mile cost could be 50 to 80 percent lower per mile. One of the other benefits of certain electric vehicles like the Ford F-150 Lightning, it can serve as a backup generator for your house if the power goes out. We've had several customers call us already. One example, they had a, a, they had a wedding. Power went out, the F-150 was able to light the wedding up so they can continue with, continue with the uh, festivities after the wedding. The auto dealers are ecstatic to be back here after a two-year wait because what makes Cleveland's auto show unique is people look today and literally buy tomorrow. We've studied this for over 10 years. March is the number one selling month of any month in our market. And people say, what are you talking about, March? March is it because we're coming off the auto show. Now, time was a Friday night at the auto show was reserved only for auto workers and their families, auto dealers and their families. That changed a couple of years ago as the industry unfortunately has shrunk. But that means it's now open to the public. The doors just open to five, open till 11 tonight. They reopen tomorrow at 11. The show runs through next Sunday, March 6, here at the IX Center. Reporting live at the IX Center, John Kasich, News 5. All right, John, I got a little question for you. You've covered the auto show at the IX Center for years now. Is there anything this year that you haven't seen before? Yeah, actually, as a matter of fact, over my shoulder here, this is uh, Mount Bronco or Bronco Mountain. It's a new test track for the Ford Bronco. This is a unique feature for Cleveland. It's for the first time we have three indoor tracks now in the IX Center joining Jeep and Ram. But I'm told by the folks at Ford, this is only appearing at a couple of auto shows around the country. Uh, and Cleveland, lucky to be one of them. And they, they got the typical up and down features as well as some water and sand features as well that people can get in the Bronco and take it for a ride. Test driving at the auto show. How perfect. <laughs> Thank you so much, John. All right, we've got a guide to this year's auto show, which runs through March 6th. You can find that guide on the News 5 app.